Hey guys, uh, it's Al Phoenix here, and this is a Wii U. I've got a Wii U now. I just had to get one since I got uh, Mario Maker now. And I wanted to hop on and show you guys some stuff that I've worked on. And uh, you're going to see a lot of Mario Maker videos. In fact, you're going to see Nintendo videos in general uh, since I'm start be covering, starting to cover those on the channel now. So look forward to that. As well as, you know, all the other stuff that I've obviously worked on. Try to keep busy and all. So, let's go ahead and go to play. Can I play the stage? Let's go back here. I don't know if you can play the... Yeah, you can play these stages. Sweet. Talk about the best menu screen of all time. It's a playable menu screen. And this is Super Mario 1 with the airship stage, which is quite awesome. Okay, but you get the point. So, let's go ahead and hop on. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you my levels. Uh, hopefully you guys will uh, give them a like and whatnot. I'll also show a little short ditty on how to make a level, in case uh, you happen happen to not have seen any yet. So we're gonna go ahead and start from the beginning. Uh, these are, I've actually made earlier levels in some of these, but um, they're not up because I only have a max of 10 uploads. So uh, give me some stars so I can upload more. So we'll start out with easy level for toddlers, which if you follow the Super Shy Guy gaming channel, uh, youtube.com slash Super Shy Guy Gaming, you've probably seen this one before. Well, a pretty close iteration of this is uh, slightly easier version of what I originally did. It's a very simple, basic level. Just get these, you finally get some Koopas after a little while. He'll probably kill you if you go immediately on that jump, so you gotta wait a little bit. Same with that one, probably. So I died. But yeah, you get the idea. It's, you know, <laughs> I'm sure I could beat this. The trick, obviously, is with the trampolines, you have to hit the jump button whenever you're at the bottom of the trampoline. To get the uh, maximum jump. Otherwise, you just do, you know, that, which is not even... Ah, oh, come on, I didn't land on him, really? <laughs> As you see, it's got a little bit of a Dark Souls element, actually, with the uh, deaths, where it shows the deaths on the screen. It's a really nice touch. I guess I can do it that way. There we go. And that's one way to beat it. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can't upload a level unless you can beat it, so you can't make super sadistic levels unless... You're either super awesome at Mario, or... Oh, look, Dark Wolf. Look up at him up there. Yeah, he's got a Wii U also. Uh, he doesn't do videos on his channel, though, since he doesn't have, like, a capture card. Uh, he could have not bought that $400 Oculus Rift to buy one, though, but whatever. Um, now it's running right. This is an attempt to do an auto level. Except, at the time I made this level... I didn't have like hardly anything unlocked, so I had to make it. I call it a semi-auto level. You just hold run and right, and it'll play itself. So, yeah, pretty much. I try to place everything. Except I'm not even holding the run button. I'm holding <laughs> the jump button. <laughs> Whoops! Run button. I can't even follow my own directions. I thought it looked a little off. So, I know it seems a little random. I try to give it some musical musical interlude to it, you know what I mean? Obviously, it's not playing an actual song, really. But I wanted it to kind of, like, you know, have some kind of flow to it. You know, because I've seen a lot of auto levels that are pretty much just random crap being flown around. And so I wanted to give it a little bit of a theme. Hopefully, you guys can agree with that. Um... Oh, I forgot, I need to show the level IDs for all these levels, which, uh... I'm gonna put it in bigger letters for you guys to see, obviously, than what's on the screen there. And we'll go ahead and show the one for this, also. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and move on to the third stage, Leap of Faith and Fire Plants. 
it's a pretty simple little stage. Um, a lot of these early stages are simpler than some of the later ones I've made, obviously. Well, most of the later ones. But yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, I want to make levels that anybody can complete and not, you know, do some statistic levels that require, like, ungodly patience and timing. So... Crap. Ah. I'm dead. <laughs> Might as well just suicide down there because there's no way I'm getting back up with all that. Uh, but it's really not that hard of a stage. I just uh, did the jump timing wrong. And you could avoid the Goombas by doing that. So you don't even have to lose the mushroom if you don't want to. Crap. Except I still lost it. There we go, that'll work. Oh yeah, Mario time. That's right. It is Mario time. So... Yeah, Leap of Fae. I don't know what KTS meant by that. Okay. Somebody just played a level for mine. Oh, Media Level Tweens. We'll check that one out a little bit. Um, here's Spiny Panic, which... Uh, this is probably the most trolly level I've got. Uh, as you can see, look at my the uh, death counter there. I don't know, I might have to blow it up a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, everybody's done at the beginning. You'll see what I mean. It's, uh... Gets quite crazy in the beginning. And there's a nice little troll bit there. Having a mushroom that you can't get. Just randomly fall. And dying, obviously, as well. Um, actually, I wonder if I can get that mushroom. I'm going to try. Dang it. I'll give it one more attempt here. No, it's not possible. It's just too fast. There we go. Yeah, that's a tricky one. This, the trick is you have to get the cloud. And then from there, kind of get like about middle distance. So you can grab this. Then you can just demolish stuff, or at least tank the hits if uh, need be. Or you can do that too. Except, oh crap. Well, I still won. <laughs> it's really not a hard level, it's just... The beginning's really rough. And then once you get past that, it's not too bad. Yeah, needs more Lucky 2s. I actually couldn't place any more if I remember right. I wanted to do more, but... I don't think it would let me. So... That was Spiny Panic. Now we're going to start to get to some more serious levels here. Fly Fast or Perish. It's a classic airship type level. That goes really fast. And, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just got to be fast. You got to run. Then fly when you can. Follow these directions kind of loosely. So that you can make it just fine. I don't know why I even put a... Okay, I guess you do have the time to grab that in case you lose it. Whatever. I, I guess I don't, what I mean is I don't know why I put one there. If you have you can't get up there without one, so okay. Now you have to do this to make sure you don't die. Okay, there you go. There is a little ground there, but obviously if you fall just a little short of that, you'll die. So pretty simple little level. I agree, KTS. I thought it's pretty fun. Okay, I could I could have made it slightly longer, but I thought the length was good. Actually, I couldn't really make it much longer unless I had uh, sub-stages. You know, as you'll notice, a lot of these stages, I kind of... A lot of these older stages incorporate stuff as I go along. So, with some of these later stages, like Deadly Mansion, this is when I start having more stuff unlocked. And I'm able to make more interesting levels. So, it's really interesting to see uh, the progress that comes along with everything, you know. And, um, Super Mario World, of course... There's many ways to do this. Uh, my original plan was that. Doing a nice quick dash spin jump. But if you tiptoe and uh, jump, you can also do it that way. So, whatever your preference is. Okay. Now I got a little puzzle here. Get the P block. Um, it took 
a little bit of timing, but um, those Koopas and that little spiky thing will perfectly carry that stuff, and I don't know why that... I wish there was a way to disable sound effects. Like, I wanted it to do this doo-doo, doo-doo, just like a couple of times, not indefinitely through the whole stage, but whatever. And I killed myself, because I didn't jump right. Go figure. Okay, so let's try this again. Oh, like I said, you can do the tiptoe. Instead, that's... I guess safer, supposedly, but... Speedrunners will have to do it the way I did it. Now, you could do it like this. Oh, whoops. No, that was a bad idea. I was trying to grab it, but I actually hit it with my head instead. Or my fist. Because Mario doesn't hit blocks with his head, he hits with his fist. Which I'm surprised people actually asked Miyamoto which he hits his head with, or hits a block with, because... Actually, pretty obvious. He's got his fist in the air right there. See? It's just so easy to see. It's like, you can't unsee it once you see it. Now, you could just wait and grab another one, or if you have enough time, really, you can just drop down. Whichever you decide to do. Now, I like this little part here. <laughs> Those ghosts are pretty cheap. There we go. But pretty easy part and then this part just pretty much says it all it shows the enemies and it says no jump I should have just said run instead of no jump but I didn't want to be too uh, revealing there and then there's been a big old group of fire uh, totems or whatever they're called I forget what they're called but uh, yeah they'll kick your butt if you don't go very fast <laughs> now here's the next one here uh, I'm not gonna show this level at least much of it because nobody's cleared it or even cleared it uh, cleared cleared it cleared it or even got past the first screen so I'm gonna at least show you how to get past the first screen uh, but yeah this is apparently a very tough level because nobody's beat it yet um, so let's go ahead and check it out obviously hit that early on so you can grab that get the cloud car. You can't really do anything but the firefish, but uh, that's okay. Just kill one of them. Then just kind of like move by, grab a Kariba shoe if you want, but yeah. And that's what you gotta do. You get another fire. I'm very generous power ups in this level, actually. And that's that. I mean, there's uh, this section and like two other, like, I guess three other sections for this level. Uh, two of them are, you know, short, like this one, and then there's one long one. So, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to show here at uh, this stage, because, uh, like I said, nobody's beat it, and so I don't want to show the walkthrough of the stage. I just wanted to show how to get past that one part, um, but you can obviously check the code out for yourself if you think you got what it takes. Obviously, I beat it, and I can probably beat it pretty faithfully now. Like, I can probably beat it most tries, so it's, not, it's really not that hard. Um, and here's one of my favorite levels I've made. Which way to go? Four paths to take. Now, this is a level that, uh, has four different ways to beat it. Well, four ways, two of them have, like, a couple different things you could do. So, there's, like, you know, a lot of choices, uh, for that. I'll show you two of the ways on beating this stage. And I'm going to show you a shorter way to do it first. Um, this has a little spoiler you can read on the gamepad, obviously. It's really cool that you can tag things as spoilers in the messages so that people don't have it show up on the TV. So P, obviously, you know, duh. Because we're Super Mario World, we don't, we're not new Super Mario Brothers, so we can't just ground pound the blocks. We have to uh, use a P block. Now, since you got hit, it's probably a good idea to just run along. Oh, and that was nice how that fireball just... I chased it around. So let's go ahead and... Um, I'll give you a little hint. That's one of the other ways to beat it. Um, but I'm not going to show you that way. Because the way to get there is actually a little bit of a secret. So I'll let you all figure out that. Let's go ahead and grab the P-Block. Originally, instead of doing the raccoon thing with the P-Block, I wanted to actually do the vine. And you have to throw the P-Block and hit it up with your head as you're climbing up. But I thought maybe that was a little too challenging to do for people, so... I decided to go with the good old raccoon instead. There we go. So 
I'm gonna grab the P-Block, and oh, which way do I drop down? Well, it should be pretty easy to determine. Just follow the coins. So you don't fall your death or get burned. And as you can see, stars up there, so please give me stars for my levels. And I do thank you very much for playing them, of course, but definitely thank you for starring them so I can make more available for you guys. Um, so that's uh, which way to go. Uh, one way to beat it. I'll show you in a more traditional way to beat it now. So, let's see. This is uh, more of a just a typical Mario style stage. That was kind of like the theme that I had with this level. I wanted to just make a stage that was like, you know, kind of reminiscent of a Mario stage with like a lot of little secrets and, um, you know, like a clear progression and everything like that. You know, these Mar original Mario levels have like a theme to them. I got myself killed, obviously. Um, but yeah, let me just go ahead and grab this here. And the interesting thing about the four ways to beat it is... Like, you could take one path and then kind of like just decide, you know what, I'll go this other path. Or you could, you know, end up falling or something like that and have to go the other path. But that's always fun. I like good old time swamps to uh, show things here. You want to see a bit of a troll? Okay, oops. If I could... Well, there's an item there, and you can't get it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but that's okay. We got hit, but we'll be able to get something else to uh, make up for that. You just gotta be patient, but you can grab that little mushroom there. But yeah, pretty much Super Mario Bros. 3 best template, without a doubt. Well, I don't know. Super Mario World's pretty awesome, too. I don't know which one's my favorite. But I like making stages with both of them. Okay, you can do this and just cheat your way. Or, like I said, you can just do a little platforming, things like that. That's kind of an easier way to do things. So yeah, there's two different ways to, sh to beat the level. There's uh, two other paths, which are a little bit more difficult to do. Um, so hey, if you get a chance to beat them all four ways and whatnot, uh, show me some vid evidence. That'd be pretty appreciated. And maybe in, in the future I'll cover the other two ways. We'll see. So that's that level. And we have intermediate level for tweens. That was the one that somebody just played. Um, super short, but a lot of depth. <laughs> so, um, have fun with it, I suppose. Uh, I might end up tweaking this one because it doesn't play exactly like I wanted to. But yeah, as you can see you can barely, barely, barely avoid this by ducking. So, um, let's see. Other than that, yeah, it's a crazy little level. You could try the spin jump avenue, but you don't really have time. You can't mess around. You get 20 seconds total which is crazy but it can be done I promise you <laughs> I'll show you the way I usually do it ah yeah that's the way I usually do it <laughs> I usually <laughs> pound myself on the music block and die there you go ah it's hard to really get the timing down. It's just so tricky. Because those swamps and that freaking fire pillar. You could do it this way. Oh. I'm not very good at the whole spin jumping off of swamps stuff, so we'll go ahead and try it that way. Oh, it goofed me up because I guess I must have barely touched the yellow platform whenever I was doing it that way, but yeah. I, I can't beat my own level, that's crazy. <laughs> I'll give it a couple more tries, but it's really not that hard, I promise. It's just like, I'm having a hard time getting the timing down tonight, I don't know why. I guess it's because I'm commentating, and I'm trying to do something with YouTube, and that's why it's obviously failing. That's my theory, at least. 
Okay, let's just do it this way. There we go. Nice. <laughs> you like how I bounced off and killed Mario at the end there? Good times. I kind of like the original way I did the level better. So, I don't know, I might delete this one and do it that way because it had a little bit more of a fun twist at the end. Uh... But yeah, that's the Intermediate Level for Tweens. And, uh, Super Shy Guy Gaming Challenge. Which, uh, there's that level code. And, uh, people surprisingly beat this one. It's really tough. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, let's just check this one out here. It gets pretty cray, as you can see. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. There is kind of a secret to this one. I'm not going to show it to you guys. I want to see if you guys can figure it out for yourself. Yeah! <laughs> it is freaking ridiculous. I'm honestly surprised people have beat this, unless they discovered a little secret to it, I guess. Which... Maybe they keep up with YouTube, if they did. Ah, I should have waited just a tiny little bit. I actually don't even know you can beat it this way, honestly. This was meant to be a little bit of a troll maneuver. I don't know, maybe if you could show me that you have beat it this particular way. Um, upload it. I would love to see it. To be, to be beaten in a non-secret way. Uh, but yeah, this level's been pretty popular. I think it's because of just how crazy it is. You know, crazy but controlled crazy. It's not like everything thrown at you at once. It's just everything meticulously placed to make matters really difficult for you. You know, that's a sign of a good hard level. You know, you... Throwing everything at the player at once is really just bad level design, honestly. I mean, it's fun to do just to do it. Just to say, oh, I can put like 5,000 hammer bros <laughs> in a stage. <laughs> you know, or something crazy like that. But, um, but really, should you do that? Because that's not really a good way to design a level. That's actually, holy crap. That would have been really sweet if I pulled that off, but... Yeah. Anyway, I wish I would have done something to keep the secret a little more elusive than I did. Holy crap, can I... No, not enough room! <laughs> Bowser, you needed to jump. <laughs> you needed to jump. You had your wings, why didn't you? Gosh. <laughs> All right, let's give it another try or two, and I think we'll uh, make that quick little level and call it. All right, so there we go. Ah, shoot! I could have been a real meanie and just gave a short time limit on this one, like I did with the, the previous stage, but. I figure with this one, you probably need timings to be pretty generous for you. Ah. Alright, well... Let's just give it one more go and that's... We're gonna call it after that. Yeah, we're done. This is not gonna happen today. Uh... <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and uh, get to making a course. There's several courses I made already that uh, haven't even been uploaded yet because I don't have the room. Like I said, give me stars, guys. So you can see some other interesting little levels I've been making. That's not one that I was making. That was just like a preloaded course. Here's first level level because the tutorial right D-pad testing chamber was just kind of like an earlier version of this. Uh, the sky is falling. Pretty self-explanatory. Hunter Cannon Salute, also pretty self-explanatory. Fly, you fool. 
Remember my comment about 5,000 Hammer Bros? This is one of those levels. Uh, Flighty Mario, which is one I really want to upload. But, uh, yeah, the other ones I can probably pass on, but this one I do really want to upload. So hopefully I can get the uh, room. Because the other levels... Uh, it's tough to say. I could probably get rid of Spiny Panic, because I personally don't like that one. Leap of Faith and Fire Plants is kind of disposable as well. I don't really care too much about those. So we might have to get rid of those, possibly, if I can't get any stars. But uh, let's go ahead and make a new course. And one of these days... You never know. We'll, we're just going to kind of do a rough draft of this uh, course. So, you get to pick from the different styles. Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Mario World. New Super Mario Bros. U. Um, let's go ahead and do New Super Mario Bros. U because you do get to do the wall kicks. So we'll make a wall kicking type stage, I think. It'll be kind of cool to see. And maybe we'll do some tracks here. Lay some beats down, Mario. I think you guys might be able to see where I'm going with this. So let's check this out real quick, see how it looks. Oh yeah, I probably should have closed that one off. <laughs> My bad. There we go. Yeah, this will be a fun one. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Let's -a go. I wish I could place more, but I guess that there has to be a space in between things in the track. Yes, I like that idea. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna kind of have like a little bit of a theme here. Oh, you could do an undo with that little doggy too. I'm gonna try to do a diagonal line instead of what I was doing there. And instead of doing like what we had before, I think we'll go ahead and do one of these little skull platform things. Where is it? Um, it's really tough to say, you know, because I mean, you guys can see it on the screen, but okay, here it is. Here it is. And you can change it to a blue one so it doesn't disappear on you. Okay, so let's just check that out now. Oh, let's die instead. Hmm. Yeah. This might be a little bit difficult, so let's go ahead and we'll extend out the track just a little bit. Make it just a bit more forgiving here, I think. It'll be a good thing to do. We don't want a Dark Souls-esque Mario level, we just want a uh, Dark Souls 2-esque. <laughs> okay. There we go, that's perfect landing. Okay. That's fine that I died because I don't really care that that happened. Uh, let's see here. There we go. So watch this now. 
Now we'll have that little guy jumping out. Because why not? But we'll not we'll not be totally cruel because it's kind of a bad maneuver, honestly, to just throw a trap like this and not give the players some kind of out. In case they can't make it quite. Um So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll add some more wall kicking action. Let's cut that one out. We definitely want to add challenge, but we don't want to... We don't want to make it unruly challenge. There we go. No, let's not mess with that. I'm not trying to make anything like fancy or artistic or anything like that. Um, let's just put a nice little Goomba out there just to occasionally hop out and say, hey. Um, let's see here. We'll see how successful we are here. There we go. Oh. Uh, that had the untended side effect of uh, making Mario. Okay, so you got hit there. That's okay, because I guess I could still die. <laughs> um, let's see here. So let's go ahead and add another little section. Alright, and we'll go ahead and add some more track. There we go. Well, let's go ahead and delete some of that, and we'll undo that little bit of track. There we go. And we'll put another blue one there. Hmm. I'm not sure if a thwomp would be a good idea or not. I don't think it would be idea. Hmm. Put there one, why not? And I'll just add some coins to mark where he is. And why not put a cannon right about her? And we want to block there so the cannon doesn't just spontaneously fall on its own. And then Mario obviously will have to jump. Jump back onto the platform. Or maybe he can make... I doubt he can make it that way. Um, and we'll just add a couple of like little... Can I do... Anything particular here? Yeah, let's not, let's not add anything else. Let's try to keep it nice and simple because it's a Mario game. There we go. Grab our little power-up. Or not. Let's die. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. You can hit minus to just go straight to the playthrough. Ah! So you don't want to do that, obviously, whenever it, the block set is bottom point because Mario would just get himself killed. Then. So if that happens, you just have to wait for them to go by. There we go. Holy crap, that thing is freaking fast. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? Let's not make it a blue one because that's just too fast. The only reason I even did that in the first place is because the blue ones don't delete themselves, but uh, there we go. Now we'll just add a regular white one there. Why does it keep going in copy mode? There we go. Much better. That's a little bit slower, maybe a little bit easier to manage. Okay, let's just play it again because I goofed up. There we go. 
Much better. Take a nice slow ride so you can get a chance to examine what you're coming up against. Alright. There we go. Now we'll hop on for the fast ride. Nope, it's not too fast. Okay. Yeah, you can beat it. Nothing exactly insane. <laughs> it only took a few minutes to make a little short ditty of a stage, you know. That uh, really teaches you that you need to get used to them uh, jump kick mechanics, you know, the jumping off the walls. And also be prepared just for traps in general. I think that's a fun little stage. Um, obviously, I think some certain things need to be polished out. It's just timing related issues and things like that. Maybe I would go back to using the blue one, but have the length of the area be quicker so that the player can kind of anticipate things a little bit more. Um, yeah, other than that, I, I kind of like the stage. So, yeah, nice little thing here. I guess we're going to save it now. And help me get some stars so that you guys can play it yourself. We'll call it the Down Phoenix. Wall kick challenge. If I have enough level room, I don't know. Oh, barely, barely, barely. Holy crap. There we go. Add an exclamation point just to uh, seal the deal. There we go. And that's uh, my look at Mario Maker. Um, I'm going to next time cover some levels made by a couple of YouTube buddies of mine. Uh, 16 KTS Gamma and Dark Wolf 2014 and uh, probably do some future episodes checking out other people's levels and if I happen to make any good progress I'll show you some more of mine so hopefully you guys like the video um, share it with your buddies and whatnot and uh, check out the levels but till then down Phoenix out <laughs>